count on. LEX 18 News Now. Good evening and thanks for watching LEX 18 News Now. I'm Kevin Christopher. Health officials say eight people have died from complications from the flu this year, including three right here in Lexington. They say all three cases here involved the elderly who are among the most vulnerable to the virus. And they want to remind everyone, no matter your age, to get a flu shot. Peak flu season usually comes in January and February. One of the four men who escaped from a Boyd County jail overnight is back in custody. Austin Childers, Thomas Bentley, Isaiah Bear, and Joseph Salyer's escape was reported around 9 this morning. Officials say they escaped sometime between 12.40 a.m. and 9 a.m. The Daily Independent reports that Bear, who has reportedly escaped from Boyd County custody once before, was arrested this afternoon at his girlfriend's home. And Frankfurt police are sharing two surveillance pictures of a man who robbed a store at gunpoint late last month. The man pulled a gun on the clerk at Fast Payday Loans on US-127 back on November 30th. If you can help, call Frankfurt Police at 502-875-8525 or give a tip online at frankfurtcrimestoppers.com. And be sure to join us on air for LAX 18 News at 11. The Greenup County Coroner says a man's death may be related to frigid temperatures. Your LAX 18 Storm Tracker forecast is coming up right after this. Ageless medical weight loss can help improve your overall health. Robert lost 107 pounds and 83 inches. He reduced his cholesterol and triglycerides levels. Ageless is a safe, affordable, medically supervised weight loss solution. Call today for a free consultation. Temperatures are already bitterly cold this evening. We're going to continue to drop a few more degrees through the rest of your Thursday night. Right now, we sit at 16 degrees in Lexington. That's the air temperature. But when you factor in the wind, we are seeing wind chills actually closer to the actual air temperature right now as the wind has gone light. However, any light breeze will easily knock those feels like temperatures down into the single digits through the overnight hours. So our starting point, just a few degrees colder than where we are right now as clouds are gradually starting to thicken up tonight across the area. And it will be a slow warm up once again into your Friday. By lunchtime already and only in the mid 40s, we'll settle for about freezing into the afternoon, which will be better than it's been for the past couple of days. But still, talking about well below average temperatures, even look towards the final day of the work week. Not feeling much better down there in True Blue, Nashville. If we'll be heading down for the Music City Bowl. Kickoff is at 4.30, our time, 3.30, local time. And it is going to be cold down there in Nashville, with temperatures running in the mid to upper 30s at kickoff. The sunshine will be nice, but once the sun goes down, temperatures will be quickly dropping into the lower 30s by the end of the game. Now, right now in our Max Track Live Doppler, nothing to worry about, and we're going to keep things that way through the overnight hours, even though as we expand the view, you will notice some scattered snow showers starting to track through portions of Indiana now into central Ohio. All of that is going to stay on the northern side of the Ohio River. However, we are catching some clouds from those snow showers moving on through. So into the start of the day tomorrow, we'll see some breaks for sunshine, but then clouds will quickly thicken up into the afternoon. Then here comes the clipper system that could just literally clip northern Kentucky with some scattered light snow showers into Friday evening and even through the overnight hours too. For most of us, the biggest impact is going to be increasing clouds, but still a few flakes could fly even into the start of the, well, of the weekend. And given the location and also the timing of the system, accumulation is looking pretty minimal as any activity that does begin to stick to the ground looks to be well to our north. But however, northern Kentucky and even closer to the border with West Virginia could easily pick up maybe a coating or so into the start of the day on Saturday. Uh, more details on the snow chances plus more cold that's going to be following coming up in your storm tracker forecast tonight at 11. Great selection, dependable service, and a competitive price. We understand, and that's what we bring you every single day. We know we have to work hard to earn your business, so we will. P-Rats, because bigger isn't better. Better is better.